One of the most asked questions we receive is how to safely transport a dough dish over the road. We hope to make it easier with a two-part video series on how to properly prepare your boat for trailering. This first video will cover the important steps of loading the spars and securing the boat to the trailer. There are numerous methods to tie down the mast and spars. To make things as quick and easy as possible, we've developed a spar carrier system and I highly recommend purchasing one if you transport your boat with some regularity. Quick tip, place a block under the aft beam of the trailer. This will prevent the boat from tipping up or back while you're moving around inside. The system includes forward and aft supports with notches cut into them to cradle the spars securely. Take a moment to make sure both carriers have the larger of the cutouts on the same side of the boat. The aft support has a center hole cut for the tiller to slide through. It's important to have the tiller in place when trailering as it locks the rudder from rising off the gudgeons. There are five lines tied to each carrier with the longest used to tie down the spars. The four other lines are used to tie down the carrier forward, backwards, and side to side. For attachment points, use the traveler aft, the main sheet cleat forward, and the docking cleats to either side. Use some form of padding to protect the combings from the line. We have used foam here, but carpet or other soft material will work well. Make these lines tight. The less wiggle room, the less the carriers will shift underway. Next, tie down the forward carrier with the same four-point method using the forward cleat, cockpit cover eye strap, and the jib sheet deck eyes. Again, make these snug and confirm that the largest cutouts of the carriers align on the same side of the boat. Some front supports will have a notch cut into the forward edge allowing you to slide them into the forward cleat, but some may not. We use half hitches or rolling half hitches for knots, but use what you're familiar and comfortable with. Now you can place the mast and spars into the carriers. The mast sits in the largest of the cutouts, the boom in the next, and due to its short length, the gaff sits on the aft carrier only. Take the remaining free line, the longest, on the carriers and run it over each spar one at a time and down through the small holes that align underneath. Pull this tight and tie off the bitter end securely. Repeat these steps for the front support. We also tie down two more additional points, the mast cone to the stem fitting and the base of the mast to the traveler. Now that the rig is secure, let's move on to the boat itself. It's important to check the boat's placement on the trailer. Too far forward or aft can have negative effects on the ride of the trailer. Standard dotish trailers have a keel stop to help align the proper placement of the hull and prevent it shifting forward while towing. The keel should rest flat along both the trailer and the keel stop. If your trailer does not have a keel stop, one can be purchased and added. Here are two more points to tie down. Run a line from the trailer over the bottom gudgeon of the rudder and back to the trailer. This helps keep the boat from sliding aft. Even little bumps on the road can give the boat freedom to slip back. The final line is run from the trailer through the bow chocks and back down to the trailer. This keeps the bow from bouncing and can be the final safety for heavy braking. We'll address this in the second video, but always check the poppet boat stand tension. These stands are not intended to carry the dough dish. They are simply to act as supports, keeping the hull even on the trailer and prevent falling to either side. The complete weight of the boat should be on the keel and resting fully on the trailer. The poppet pad should fit snugly against the hull, but not tight. Ease the tension on the poppet until you can rotate the pad by hand, and then raise and tighten it until little or no play is left. If the boat creaks, groans, or otherwise settles when the pads are loosened, they were much too tight. Once fit, tighten the set screws on the threaded portion of the poppet, preventing further loosening or tightening underway. Failure to properly tighten these pads can result in shifting of the boat during towing or causing damage to the hull when stationary. One last tip. If installed, remove the drain plug before travel. This will prevent any rainwater building up in the bilge. If your dough dish is not equipped with a drain plug, bring along a hand pump as swinging a bucket might not be easy with the spars in place. We hope this helps answer any questions you may have on tying down your dough dish for the road. Our next video will cover hooking up the trailer and tips on safe transport over land.